Oh, this is so much fun. We got a great show on the Morning Brew today. We've got our buddy Rob Janov, and he's going to show us, play music for us all morning. We got our buddy Gary Shonig here, here this morning. We're going to talk about the entrepreneurial mindset. Later, we're going to talk about the Benner Bowl, and I'm going to learn some awesome dance moves all on the Morning Brew with friends. <laughs> Drums, please! <laughs> Thank you, Rob, for playing for us this morning. This is going to be so much fun. Rob's going to be with us all morning, playing intros and outros and whatever else we can get you to do. And you build all these songs like right on the spot, right? right on the spot. That's cool. This is so much fun. Yeah, and this is part of what we're going to be talking about later is the entrepreneurial mindset and doing all this stuff on the fly and learning all about it, right? Yep. That would be great. But first, we've got to kick it off with the headlines on the Morning Brew with friends. Brought to us by our friends at the Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy. And first things first, you're not from here. So I'm not. you do not know about New Mexicans' love for green chili. I do and not. And red chili. I do not. And it is, it is the local spice. It is the thing that keeps us all going. If it's not, you know, New Mexico pino and coffee, it's green chili. Okay. And we love that. And this year, because of all of the rains and some new kind of varieties of chili that people are growing, we're actually seeing a brand new crop already getting roasted which is amazing. It never happens this early. You usually have to wait till August, September for chili. And this is the thing that I think half of New Mexico's salivating right now, just nice. thinking about all of this wonderful chili coming out right now. Nice. So I can't wait to just drive down the street and just smell that chili roasting. It's a smell that once you smell it once, yeah. it like burns its smell into your brain. You can't miss it. And I love this. So here at Morning Brew, we love superheroes and superhero movies and everything. Ant-Man is number one at the box office. Yeah. I have not seen this yet. You, you guys loved it, right? Lee, our director here, floor director, says it's the best. Oh, it's, it was good. It, it, you saw okay. it too, Dan? No, I'm just surprised. <laughs> this, it, it's, to me, this is like, I thought, man, that sounds kind of stupid. Like another kind of like Iron Man kind of thing. But apparently it's really funny, really great. And it's beating even the Adam Sandler comedy, The Pixels. It's even beating that, so I love this. I can't wait to see it. This weekend, I'm going to head out and see it, man. I, I'm not going to miss it. And this is cool. So in Albuquerque, there's been a lot of talk about professional sports and bringing a sports team here. And the talk in Albuquerque is, well, what team do we want? Is it soccer? Is it baseball? Is it basketball? Is it football? What is it, right? And there was a survey done a while back about basically Albuquerque's expendable income and so that we could support probably a soccer team. Yeah. And then another survey just came out yesterday that says Albuquerque's number one sport that we would support is soccer. So the two things are kind of meeting up kind of in the middle here, which is very cool. And soccer, Albuquerque ranks, it's 131st out of all the cities in the nation, but that's kind of a little bit skewed because one of the numbers that they actually mentioned, which was how much fan engagement we would have, yeah. is really far up there. The thing that's holding us back still is a stadium. Let's get a stadium built and then we can actually get a soccer team here. And this is something that I know you and I were talking about, and Director Dan doesn't quite get this either. There's a Bitcoin ATM opening up in Albuquerque today. And I think this is really cool. This is one of our business first stories. This is the Bitcoin ATM machine. And it works like an ATM, but it uses the digital currency. And you were saying you're not quite wrapping your head around the digital I, I currency. I struggle with that. I, I struggle with the whole concept of Bitcoin. I kind of get it, so, but man, oh man. It's kind of like if you wanted to basically buy gold or silver on any exchange, you know? And then you can go somewhere and buy something with it. In this one, it's at the New Mexico Tea Company, and they will actually take Bitcoin. So you can show up and say, I have Bitcoin somewhere in the digital world, and basically email them your Bitcoin and buy your tea. And it's pretty cool. And the idea with the Bitcoin ATM is it's just this digital currency from across the globe. So you could come here from Japan, you could come here from wherever, not have to worry about a currency exchange. Yeah. It's all in Bitcoin. Right. And you just get your money right out at the little tea company, buy your tea, yeah. done. Yeah. And I think it's really cool. But yeah. it's, it, it is, like you were saying earlier, it's kind of the Wikipedia of currency. It could destroy currency markets. Right. And I think that's what a lot of people are afraid of. Yeah. And it is part of the entrepreneurial mindset like what you what it, you it came to Albuquerque is. to talk about. Yeah, it very much is. And and you know when anything new comes in, the extent the entrenched status quo always resists. Right. 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 And there is a there is a challenge with something like Bitcoin, because you know, how do you get it? How does it work? Yeah. And there is a challenge to get it. But you know what? There's a challenge to getting any money. 
And so it, it's just a different kind of a challenge. Yeah. Rather than setting up a bank account, you set up a Bitcoin wallet. Right. And that's the only difference. It, it just seems to me like the, 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 the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. The toothpaste is not going back in the tube. They're going right. to figure it out. Right. That's it. That's, and, that's and I'm that. also wondering, too, on that front, there's Bitcoin, there's Dogecoin, there's all these other you know, yeah. currencies out there. Yeah. Which one is going to be the one that becomes the standard now? Right. Is, which one's going to become the American dollar right. of the digital currency world? Right. And I'm, I, I'm, I can't wait to see what that brings. As more and more ATMs happen like this one, yeah. one will become the, you know, the, the default currency. Right. Right. So I can't wait to see which one that yeah. is. And this is cool. Dinner en blanc. Now say it with me, Gary. Dinner en blanc. <laughs> Gotta say it right. Dinner en blanc, I think. It's <laughs> something right, Dan? Something like that. <laughs> and it this is year two for the dinner en blanc, which is a giant, giant garden party. Everybody wears white and bring your own food. And it's just on the grass at Balloon Fiesta Park. And it's a giant, cool, fun community event. Season two tickets are up for sale on that one right now. So that's fun. I went last year, so it's so much fun. And then finally, this is our last headline. Google is finally starting to kill Google Plus. You know Google Plus? I do not. No one is. No. No one. Like, no, like this is the perfect example. Yep. No one cared. So Facebook was big, MySpace was big, all of these social media networks happened, and the Google was like, where were we? We need our own. So they launched Google Plus. A little too late to the table. And no one cared. Yeah. And it was also kind of stupid. Yeah. And kind of, it never worked. We all hated it. So Google Plus, they're finally doing the last steps to make Google Plus kind of kill it, give it a slow death, let it die on its own. Yeah. It's but experiment didn't go anywhere. Right. We'll be back in a minute to talk about the entrepreneurial mindset. In the meantime, Rob's going to take us out here. I love this.